Can I about this? Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. We are test riding the 2023 Limited with the uh, 120th anniversary uh, option. Here, let me get on the other side. Let's see if I can flat foot this one. I wasn't able to flat foot the CVO. It's over there. Let's see if I can flat foot this, this baby right here. And, ooh, she is heavy. And no, I cannot flat foot the bike. I am tippy toeing the bike and I have boots on. I can't even reach the uh, <laughs> the kickstand. So all right, so let's go ahead and uh, turn this sucker, this uh, this bike on. So this is the uh, the limited 2023. Let's lower the the radio. And uh, man, she is a good looking bike. 63 of 1300 for the 120th edition. Uh, this of course is fully loaded there isn't a backrest on this one like on the CVO I don't know who that guy is but let's go ahead and take her out for a spin Oof. it is heavy let's see where we're going all right looks like we're clear oh there is a stop sign there I never even noticed that I never noticed that stop sign there so a very comfortable seat the uh, the rider position on this one very relaxed at 57 I am extremely relaxed on this one the handlebars nice and low my arms aren't fully extended but they have a little bit bend in the elbows uh, my knees are aligned with the fuel tank uh, the floorboards are very comfortable and uh, the, the four controls are I mean they're, they're you know they're at a good position the bike feels great suspension wise I know we've only been on the demo event or I mean I know we've only been on the demo ride for a few minutes but I've already test ridden these bikes I've already I've already demoed these bikes I've already been on these bikes and they're pretty much the same since uh, 2017 all right they haven't really changed this frame Harley's been using this frame since uh, you know since 2009 it's basically the same frame and yes they've you know they've made minor adjustments uh the the mount rushmore project of course but they've you know they've changed that in uh in uh in uh 2021 when they went back to uh clutch uh to cable clutch instead of a hydraulic clutch sorry i mean it, you know it's a beautiful bike it's great but uh i mean they haven't really done much to it so it's got the 114 on it this is the limited beautiful paint job the 120th edition uh, I've already mentioned this in all my videos but I'm just gonna mention it in this one too uh, you can't get a paint job like this for which is uh, you know the color option is 2,900 for this color option you're not gonna find that uh, you know with anybody you're not gonna be able to find that color option uh, anywhere you know materials alone for this paint job uh, you know red pearl and the fade and you know pinstriping materials alone mainly because it's a you know it's a red color red color is by far the most expensive and then on top of that it's a pearl and then there's a little bit of a candy uh, you know that that adds up to the cost so uh, materials alone for for a paint job like this easily you're looking at about a thousand bucks of course with you know the primer the, the clear coat the uh, the pinstriping you know everything everything about uh, about the bike so taking a wide turn here because that lady behind me she was right on my rear end man these people just I'm you know I'm driving the geezer <laughs> the geezer glide you got you know you gotta let me enjoy this uh, this nice comfy sofa so getting back on the uh, the limited of course you have the bat wing firing it's not like the road glide so the controls are a little bit closer to you i'm able to reach this if i have to of course change the radio station or look at my indicators or my gauges or whatever they're a little bit closer to me compared to the uh compared to the world glide uh you also have you know something else to note you also have the weight of the fairing you have the weight of all the electronics everything on top of your forks on top of your uh on top of your triple tree or your fork clamps whatever you want to call it and that of course that's gonna alter you know your handling but as far as 
noticing it's only at low speeds so at high speeds you're not really going to notice it it's not going to be something that's that's going to affect your riding but as far as you know the fairing being a little bit closer that might benefit you depending on on your weather conditions so that that might be a reason why you lean uh, towards the street glide or the road glide now i really like the shark nose fairing but uh you know between myself and maybe you know a few other folks i think the road glide it just looks a little bit better but yes they're they're both different bikes like i mentioned the road glide has the frame mounted fairing on on the you know on the frame it's a frame mounted fairing on the road glide but anyways overall handling the suspension i mean this bike weighs over 800 pounds so you know uh you know it's gonna be heavy and so far you know there's minor minor vibrations but you know the bike is heavy right it's, it's over 800 pounds it's a heavy bike it's got the same powertrain as my lowrider wrist so as far as you know throttle response it's not going to be the same it's, it's not going to have the same throttle response it's not going to perform the same it's not going to handle the same we're talking you know an extra 200 pounds with the same powertrain this is why the lowrider st is such a you know in my opinion it's such a great uh, deal because you get a lot of the benefits of you know the wind protection frame mounted fairing at of course at a lower price and with the 117 so anyways let's go ahead and open her, open her up here try to get up to speed and see what the, this heavy this heavy bike's all about So I mean, for for 800 pounds, I mean it's it's doing all it can with the uh, <laughs> with the 114. I mean I, it's expected, all right. I, I've test ridden the the Road Glide Limited, and I mean it, it's a heavy bike, all right. It, it needs a little bit more power. I mean this is why I like the Challenger. The Challenger gives you 120 horsepower straight from the factory. I mean it's great, but overall just look wise fit and finish it's you know harley is where it's at i mean this is just something that i've already mentioned between harley and indian i would rather have the better looking bike that's just you know that's just me i mean uh beauty is on the eye of the beholder and you might like the challenger but in my opinion it, it just doesn't look anywhere as good as the batwing fairing or the shark nose fairing i would rather much have you know the prettier bike and then have to you know dish out the extra five thousand six thousand dollars for the performance and that's pretty much what you need in my opinion for uh for anything like this you know with the, with the tour pack with the, you know with the comfy seat the sofa seat everything i just think it needs a little bit more power but uh you know as far as riding and rider position and all this other stuff uh you could do this all day uh, you know, there, there was minor wind buffeting. I didn't feel almost anything. As far as the windshield being in my, you know, field of view, it's, you know, it's right below. It, it sits right below. I believe the heritage is just a little bit taller than this. But, I mean, just the footprint of the, uh, of the bat wing firing with this extended, I believe it's an extended windshield. Um, it, you know, it does a very good job. And this is, of course, just for uh you know two up riding i can feel the heated grips on this thing they're actually turned on i guess it's set to four and that's just something else that i noticed just right now uh the heated grips they do feel good on the hands because <laughs> uh it's yeah it was pouring earlier now it's sunny and uh yeah i needed a little bit more uh warmth on the hands you also have the lowers on this thing uh, no speakers, but you have the speakers up here, of course. I don't know if the tour pack has speakers. Oh, yes, it does. Or maybe, it, maybe it just has the cutout. Ah, I'm getting a cramp. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ouch. Anyways, uh, you know, the, just the overall color of the bike. Oh, I have a cramp on my side for turning like that. Oh, ouch. All right, it's over. It's over. But. Uh, Man, it's a good looking bike. I really like the Chrome. I believe this comes in two options. 
I'm not too sure about that. Uh, the 120th edition, I know the uh, the specials, the Road Glide and the Street Glide specials are blacked out. Maybe this doesn't have the blacked out components, but the chrome looks good. Chrome gets you dome, right? So I'm enjoying the ride. Uh, this is a little bit lighter than the Road Glide Limited, so it it just handles a little bit better, but. Uh, you know, it, it still lacks a little bit of, of performance in my in my opinion. It just needs a stage two. It's screaming for a stage two. So if you have this or you're looking to buy this, I would I would probably recommend you know going up to a stage two as soon as possible. So anyways, let's keep on uh, you know let's keep on riding these bikes and then let's see where I could put this big behemoth of a of a bike. Or maybe I'll just put it behind the the CVO. Man, this thing is heavy. It's not as heavy as the Rogue Line Limited, but yeah, it's still heavy. And of course, I'm not flat footing the bike, which sucks. You don't have that uh, that confidence. I can never find neutral in these things when it's new. Six and a half hours late. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We found it. All right. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.